Good advice today, and we'll be right back. Coming up on Healthier You. If you like one of the recipes, screenshot the recipe and you can try it out at a later time. So there's so it's much. It's powerful. That you can do. It's it really powerful. Is. It's all at your fingertips. If you're looking for some motivation to take your health to a new level or just need that extra push to get to the gym today, we're going to show you some of the top fitness and health apps. We're joined by Kathleen Tesori with Bodybuilding.com and she looks phenomenal. So we know you're taking care of your body and inspiring people in the process. Thank you. So first of all, when we think about all these health and fitness apps that are out there, can they really make that much of a difference? Absolutely. I think that um, technology and the apps have changed things. So before it seemed like you used to have to hire somebody to get your information, but now you have all the information at your fingertips when you're ready for it. So we don't have any excuses anymore. Exactly. You don't have a personal trainer, you can still get a good workout yes. and change your body. Absolutely. And you have five apps that have just really transformed your life and mm -hmm. really helped you on your own fitness journey. And we're going to walk through those. App number one, Body Space. What is Body Space? Okay, Body Space is much like Facebook. It has three million members on it and it they all have a common goal a healthy fit goal so people are on there trying to lose weight gain weight build muscle um, all sorts of things and the nice thing is everyone has a common goal so when you're seeing make people um, post progress photos mm -hmm. they're either losing weight or gaining weight and, and so it's kind of like an yes, inspiration it's a it community really of people who are committed to the same goal as you I really love that so app number two you're talking about is an app called rain and it's actually an activity tracker. Tell me about Rain. Okay, so Rain um, is, is like, there's lots of fitness bands out there. This is the one that I decided to go with. Um, Rain allows you to do a two minute heart rate variability test in the morning. So in the morning, what you do is you get to do a two minute test and it lets you know how your heart's doing. So it gives you a visual depiction on how recovered your body is to let you know, you know what, you're not doing so well today, you should probably take it easy to, hey, your heart's doing awesome, mm -hmm. so no matter how you feel, Feel, you can out get out there and work that. And, yes. and one of the next apps that you have, which speaking of accountability, Calorie Count. That is your third favorite app. What is Calorie Count and how is that going to help people? The reason why I really like Calorie Count is the first thing is that you can cut and paste any recipe into this app and you hit analyze and what it does is it gives you a score on how that recipe is. It gives you all the fats, it tells you how many fats, proteins, carbohydrates in there, but it also gives you a score between A and F on how that recipe looks. Oh, so it's really grading yes. you like you ate F today so you're yes. not doing so great. Mm -hmm. That is really key. The other one I love, Plant Nanny. Your app number four, Plant Nanny. What is Plant Nanny? That's, okay. a, that's an interesting name there. So Plant Nanny, a lot of people say, you know, that they have a hard time drinking water because they forget that through the me. day. I'm dehydrated all the time. So what it does is it actually sends you um, updates and tells you, hey, how's your water looking? And what you do is you're basically building a virtual garden. And oh, so cool. every time that you have water, you're growing your garden. And so the, uh, the plant is a depiction of you. And so you track your water that way and it shows you how beautiful of blossom you are. If you're drinking a lot of water and if you're not drinking so much and you forget to calculate your water, it, the plant starts to die. So Which, it shows you yes. kind of like what your body is yes. doing. Now, yes. lastly, this is something that we all use, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Why do you recommend those? Even if you don't use some of the other apps, those are basic that we're already subscribed yes. to many of us. How can we use those in our yeah, many people are, um, they're using one form or more of social media. And so it's so great to surround yourself with positive people, positive pages that are living the goals that you're trying to do. And when you see something that you really like, you're going to, you can screenshot it and you can oh. save it and you can try it later, which is why, so if you use Instagram, you can just screenshot the workout and try it out at a later time. If you like one of the recipes, screenshot the recipe and you can try it out at a later time. So there's so much it's that powerful. you can do. It's powerful. It's really powerful. Is. It's all at your fingertips. And if people want to follow you, how can they find you? Um, I'm on every social media site and it's all under Kathleen Tesori. Okay, great information and we'll be right back.